You know, m- many of you have heard me speak often these last couple years about being a Eucharistic parish. And what does that mean? Well, in simple terms, what it means is this, that we would find the source, the summit, the foundation, the center of this parish in Jesus present in the Eucharist. That, that the Blessed Sacrament becomes our, our, the, how we come together. Right? So it's not just about, you know, me thinking about myself or prisoners thinking about themselves or us, you know, just with each other. It is that all of us have our gaze turned to him and then he creates the community. He creates the, the, the holy intimacy that, a parish, that, he, that he wants for a parish. But it comes about by being focused on him. And then he would then vivify and guide and direct and give strength and, and protection to everything that we do. Right, in our efforts at evangelization, in our parish school, in our outreach to those in need, you know, think of St. Vincent de Paul, right? it's by recognizing Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, to use Mother Teresa's words, by recognizing Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament and being devoted to him, then I can recognize him in my neighbor, or as she puts it, in the distressing disguise of the poorest of the poor. Jesus gives us his eyes then, right? He's he's Christifying us, making us like him. And so that's what it means to be a Eucharistic person and a Eucharistic parish. This is why why I want to promote devotion to the Blessed Sacrament and the Mass. That that becomes, you know, adoration and Mass becomes this, this furnace of love that fuels all of our fuels the entire mission of this parish. The Eucharist will give us all the wisdom and the strength and the joy and the peace in carrying out our mission here at Christ the King. This is my hope for the parish, 